These are the supplies that you need in order to make your birthday cake card template. First thing that you will need to do is cut out this die cut from the um, cartridge called Life is a Party, or um, it's also been called in front of mine, I think it says Three, three Birds, Life is a Party. Hold on one second, just double check, because I know I've seen it in both ways. Well, this one just says Life is a Party, but I've also seen it as Three Birds, Life is a Party. And the image that we're going to be doing is a hexagon box. And we are going to be cutting the hexagon box out at 8.67 by 6.92 in height. And it's the real dial size. The next thing we're going to do is cut out this for the um, gift card that's going to go on the card. And it is from Tags, Bags, Boxes, and more. And it is cut out at 5.3 by 4.52. It's unlinked and it's the real dial size. The next thing you're going to need for your card is um, first of all your card base and I used white and it, it is 12 inches by five and a half inches. Then part the parts that's going to be cut out to line my card, the inside of the card, and that will be this square right here, not perfect square. It's five by five and a quarter. And then you're going to need two more pieces and one is cut at five and one quarter and two and one quarter. Both these pieces are. You need two of those. And then this will be like the spine of the card. And it will be cut at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that should be all the supplies that you need. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be scoring the card. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the measurements for that so I get the measurements all done at the beginning. And what you're going to be doing is scoring the card, and I did a template, at two and five eighths, at five and a quarter, and at six and three quarters. So now we have everything set up and ready to make our card. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make our birthday box, and I will show you how I do that. Okay, this is probably not going to be the easiest thing to do one-handed, but I wanted to show you there are score lines um, on the top. Um, there are little slits, so it shows you where to fold it. And because, like I said, this is a hexagon, um, there's that many folds all the way around. And what you're seeing, the holes, I actually put holes in the top to make it a birthday cake so that you can put candles in there. But obviously it's paper, you cannot light it, but it will look like a... Um, cake and um, each of these little flaps like this is the bottom there's just little three little flaps that'll go over and then this is the top piece and there's flaps all the way around so the next thing I need to do is tape this bottom piece or to this piece together to make the band by making the band first then the bottom will go in and then I'll be able to tape in the top so I will go ahead and start taping Okay, so I just want to show you. I don't know why it kind of got closer, so I'm trying to get it to go back further away. Stop. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so what the deal was is I went ahead and did the bottom, and I, like I said, I did the tab, and I did the tab, which is right there to join, to join that band, and then the inside there was three little spots that had to be glued, and I did that. So this is technically what the box looks like, opened up. And again, the reason I put these holes in is to hold candles. And so what I did to do that does not come that way. Um, the box does not come that way. I used the um, circles from Plant and School Book, and I reduced them to a quarter of an inch or the size of the candles that you want to put in there. So the next thing I need to do then is fold this top down. And I can do one of two things. I can adhere it so that it doesn't open, or I could put something inside of it as a gift. So it's your choice. I'm I'm choosing to I'm going to be closing it so that it just is a decoration. Okay, so this is my finished little box, and again, it's not a circle; it's a hexagon, but it will work great for the cake. 
um, that I want to do for my card. And again, I'm going to continue and make the other box. Okay, I'm going to show you just really quickly how I um, scored this and folded it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's a typical box. And then these little flaps on the end will go in and be taped in. So I'm going to go ahead and put tape just on those, whoopsie, just on these little flaps right here. I'm going to put tape on that side, and then they're going to adhere to this part right there and fold in just like a box. And again, I'm using a heavy-duty type tape because boxes tend to want to come untaped. So I'm using my um, ATG gun to make sure that they stay hooked. Go ahead and put it together. Okay, so I've got my little box together. And the little tabs towards the back um, work for the bottom of the box. The only tabs you need to put in are at the top, or at the very top there. And so basically this will close down and it will go on the card. It is cut so that it will fit a gift card. I mean, that's what I'm going to be using it for. And it fits, it's a little, actually just a tad bit bigger, but it's going to work fine for my card. And that's basically what it's going to do on my card. The next step is to adhere the box. Um, we're going to be adhering the box to the um, base, but um, before I actually put the um, box on there, I have to adhere this piece. But I wanted to show you how I punched holes on each side of where the box is going to sit. And I actually have tape on here already, but I'm going to put this on the base first because I don't want to squish down the um, box when I put the tape on the back. Okay, so I've attached my um, gift card box to the bottom of the um, card. And the next thing I have to do is put the cake on, and it's very difficult to use your ATG gun on a box like this. So um, I went ahead and used the red line type tape, and that is going to go on the bottom of my card. So I now have my um, birthday um, cake attached to the bottom of my card and I actually kind of covered up the hole that I had punched to put the ribbon through so you can't really even um, see that. So the next thing you need to do is decorate. It's kind of like an easel card but um, it's a little bit different so the next thing I have to do is decorate that and um, make my either die cut or image for the front. Okay so the extra pieces that we cut for the back, or it will be the top of the card. And basically, it looks kind of like this. Let's see if I can show you from further away. Um, it will come back and be like an easel card. Um, but I just wanted to show you the pieces and how they fit on. And if I fold that out, you can see that kind of like is like the binding of the back, and then the two pieces. They will be this part right here. Will have um, a decorated part that will be attached that will come up from the card. But that is our base of our card. And then the next step will be how you decorate your easel part of your card.